Hi, I'm Cindy Gay and welcome to my real cooking studio. Today I want to talk a little bit about the modifications we made to my floor stand. And here it is all set up ready for you to hook. It will accept any stand <laughs> that has a hole in it like this. Mine has several but only because we've done a lot of experimenting. But it doesn't make a difference where the hole's at quite frankly. So it's my ugly frame over there. And now I'm going to take it apart so you can see how it comes apart. One modification is that it's only got one handle up at the top and the other one has this, um, it's fixed. So it doesn't come out and it does, you don't accidentally lose it. Um, you would loosen that, take the cap off, and then take the pipes apart. We'll put the cap back on. The cap is really only needed for when it's actually collapsed. Um, it makes the pipes the same size at this end. Okay, Mickey, come on, you're ruining the shot. Go sit down. You never walk. Go sit. <laughs> this is my son's dog. She's, what, 18 years old. And she's staying with us. And I could tell her to move, but she can't hear me anyways. This one can, that's Jack, go sit. <laughs> okay, so you take this top part, and this is where your stand initially sat. This part goes into the hole in the bottom of the stand. And this is the part that I like the best. It's now together as a package, but remember this knob that I took off and put behind me? or I put on a table, or I put on my hooking chair, and then I go to guild or workshop or whatever without it, you can't forget it because you're gonna need it to put this all together. One other thing that is an advantage of having just the one knob and the part that I like the best is that now it stands up. It doesn't tip over. Before the other knob created an extra thickness there so it wouldn't sit on the floor, and now it sits just fine. The stand is unfinished so that you can stain and varnish it. My favorite is to paint it with some simple craft paint, you know, those little 99 cent bottles, and then rub it with a wax, either a fancy, you know, Annie Sloan chalk paint wax or just Brie wax that's colored. <laughs> Go sit down, sweetheart. Um, that makes a very durable finish. My little footstool that I carry with me um, to workshops is finished that way and the finish is held up extremely well and it took no time whatsoever. So I think that's it. Oh, some of the, all the wood is reclaimed antique lumber. It's lumber that we bought that was sitting in a barn that my son painstakingly planed down and made nice and smooth. He smoothed off to all the edges. Um, he's done a really great job with it. Some of the pieces have little wormholes in them, which adds a lot of character. Now, I will try to ship without the wormholes, so if you want one with wormholes, be sure to tell me in the comments or just pick up the phone and give me a call um, after you place your order. Um, that would probably be the simplest way to handle that. So here it is, it's all ready, and the best part is that if you've got a bag big enough for this, this fits right inside. And you're all set, ready to go. Okay, hopefully it's recording. Ow, <laughs> I think I hurt myself.